Today we are going to be going over exactly what are the top 3 trio drop spots for each type of different trio with different types of play styles. With the addition of the crafting feature, my drop spots are going to be based on the easiest way to get a pump shotgun and any other weapon you may prefer. So be sure to stick around until the end of the video so that you guys do not miss any important information and also consider using code SANADAFN in the Fortnite item shop hashtag ad. And if you do stay until the end of the video, feel free to leave a comment letting me know. So the first drop spot is going to be the passive drop spot, it is known as the flopper island slash tower split. So most of the drop spots on this list are going to be splits between various different smaller POIs around the map, and it's important that you guys pay attention to where each person is supposed to land. So flopper island and tower have exactly 16 chests, and one person will be landing the tower, one person will land the island, and then one person will land the bridge. When you are landing here, there's going to be one team contesting you maximum, however you will need to watch out from the craggy cliffs and the pleasant park teams as well as the stealthy stronghold teams that may potentially look at you for various reasons. At this drop spot, you can easily purchase an RPG using gold and it is very easy to do because there are challenges that you can do with the various NPCs that spawn near the flopper island area. As you guys know, RPGs are very useful and competitive, they are very useful for win conditions and W keying, it's very easy to take height with them in endgame, so if you guys want to use an RPG, which I would highly recommend you do, you should consider landing at Flopper Island. There can also be up to 20 fishing spots, which is one of the most broken parts about this POI. There's going to be a bunch of fishing spots surrounding the Flopper Island in which you guys can use to get various different cuttlefish, floppers, and slurpfish. I've stressed many times why exactly fish are important. They're important because they help you with heal offs, they can also help you during fights in sticky situations, and they can also help you if you, your teammate needs to get out of a sticky situation as well. Another good thing about this drop spot is that it does have cars for mechanical parts along the areas near the bridge and also on the flopper island area. Mechanical parts are one of the most important things this season. They do help you very easily be able to upgrade to a pump shock and in various other items that you want. So if you guys actually loot this drop spot correctly, it's likely that you're gonna be walking out of here with the best loot possible. In terms of rotation, there's obviously going to be a boat and some cars if you guys do wanna rotate with those. However, if you guys do want to rotate using the rift tower that spawns on top of the guardian tower, you guys can very easily do that as well. In terms of materials at this drop spot, there's going to be the materials from the trees on Flopper Island, there's going to be tons of brick near the Flopper Island as well, and then there's also going to be the metals from the bridge and from the cars near the bridge. However, if you guys are being a passive trio, I would highly recommend that you guys land here if you know what you're doing. So the next drop spot for the team that wants to play slightly more aggressive throughout the game is known as the Orchard and Other Tower Split. So at this drop spot, there is going to be 18 chests that can spawn and two people should land the Orchard while one of them should land the Guardian Tower. One phenomenal thing about this split is that the two POIs aren't too separated so you can easily reconnect with your team if something happens. At this drop spot, there is going to be two teams absolute maximum contesting you and there's also going to be some fishing spots at the river if you guys do want to fish there. Once again, I've stressed why fishing is important However, if you are contested by another team, I've once again restated why you guys can very easily regroup just in case something does happen. The person at the tower can easily take the rift and rotate to you, or you can very easily walk over there and climb up the tower in order to fight. However, when you're fighting off spawn here, I would highly prefer the terrain near the orchard because the terrain near the tower is difficult to fight in. In this POI, there are tons of mechanical parts from the cars, tractors, and the workbenches that spawn all over the area. Once again, this can very easily help you upgrade to a pump and a scar. There's also going to be some noms boxes here, which is easy for you to get peppers with, which in my opinion is the best rotation item this season. Peppers are extremely good because they not only are stackable, but they're also very important when it comes to end game rotation. And in terms of rotation through the early and the mid game, there's going to be some cars that can spawn here, and you guys can also once again use that rift tower from the guardian tower. There's also one freezer that does spawn if you guys want some extra fish, and obviously you can get materials from the trees, the rocks, and the cars that spawn around in the various areas. However, if you guys are a trio that likes to play more aggressive, I would highly recommend you consider landing this drop spot. It is a very good one if you guys want to perform in those cash cups and FNCS open qualifiers. So the final drop spot is going to be known as Holly Hedges slash Grocery Store Split. So this drop spot being located in the southwestern part of the map can contain up to 26 chests and two people should land the left side of Holly Hedges and one of them should land the grocery store. There's also going to be three teams absolute maximum that do land here. And if you guys do want to go ahead and fish, you guys can go closer to the coast of the island and try and fish there. However, you do need to keep in mind that fishing can sometimes get difficult here, so you guys should not count on that as one of your main elements of gameplay. Obviously, at this drop spot, there's going to be tons of mechanical parts from the cars, tractors, and workbenches once again, and it is one of the best spots to get a pump shotgun at very quickly. One important aspect of trio drop spots is that everybody in your team can be fully kitted as quickly as possible. 
this Holly Hedges grocery store split will be able to fulfill that very quickly. Once again, there are also cars for rotation just in case you guys do wanna rotate with those items. And obviously there's going to be a freezer for fish at the grocery store and you guys very easily can get materials from the trees, the rocks and the cars around the area. And once again, there are going to be some noms boxes here for you guys to easily get some peppers that you guys can rotate with. And you guys can also very easily farm materials along the way if you guys are going to be rotating into Weeping and Bony Burbs area. However, the main advantage of this drop spot is its tactical positioning. Holly Hedges itself is not a very contested main POI. And if you guys are going to be landing here, I would highly recommend that you learn how to fight in the area so you would land here in pretty much all of your game modes, including solos and duos. The way that I like to see it is that you guys should try to make a drop spot your place that you land in every game mode and try to learn it like the back of your hand. However, drop spots all do depend on personal preference and I would highly recommend that you guys talk with your trio before you finally settle on a drop spot. But please consider using these three as benchmarks for each type of play style for each trio. All right, so as a little bit of a bonus section in this video, I'm going to be explaining how exactly to make a pretty good trio loot route on lootlake.info.com. What I'm basically going to do is I'm gonna click on this little draw on map tool. I'm then going to click this draw a marker tool, and I'm going to basically click all the places that I want my, you know, my teammates to land uh, in my trio. So right here, I'm just gonna write player number one, as you guys can see. And I'll, you know, I'll just do, I'll just copy and paste that. So I'll click okay. That's where player number one lands. And then player number two, let's say I want them to land here as the IGL. I'll click player number two right there. And then obviously what I'll do is I'll click player number three right here. And then basically what I'll do is I'll just click player number three. And then I have my three drop spots set out. And let's say that I also want to draw a circle in terms of the area that we're going to be looting. Um, so I can basically just do that right here if I do want to. I don't really know if I want to right now. So what I'll do is I'll just delete that. However, I can also draw things like a rectangle, a, you know, a polygon. I can pretty much draw whatever I want. So let's say that I want to draw a rectangle right here to uh, show that the uh, show the area that we're going to be looting. I'll just draw a rectangle in the terms of, you know, where I want to loot. So let's say I'm with me and my trio and we want to loot this specific area right here. I'll just highlight that. And then basically what I can do is I can show a loot path uh, to show where everybody lands in the trio. So let's say that once we land here, we all loot the various area and then we meet up right here. I'll just draw different arrows coming from there. So let's just say that all of us want to meet up in this area and let, let's say we're done with the house. This is going to be like the kind of circle that we go to essentially. Um, and you know, basically this is where, what it's going to look like when we're, you know, done looting. So let's say that, um, everybody's trying to loot the rest of orchard. This is going to be the area that we're going to meet up at. And I can just put another marker right here saying meet up spot. And this is where we're going to meet up in order to find out our, what our rotation is going to be depending on the zone. But basically this was just a short tutorial on how to properly make, you know, a sort of loot route as a trio um, for you and your trio. If you guys are curious, IGLs, you guys will love this. So please consider doing this. Uh, but yeah, this was just a bonus section of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed and let's move on to the next section. All right, guys, that is the video on the best trio drop spots for each type of trio. If you guys did find it helpful, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel for more educational Fortnite content. If you guys are interested in checking out my Twitch, Twitter, or my Discord server, there's a link in the description for all three of those things. But that's about it for this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.